Hey guys, Papa Nasty here, and today I'm making a video about Warhammer Chaos and Conquest, which is a mobile game, and it also has a PC app, which is what I'm using at present. Uh, today I'm specifically going to be talking about the Dwarf Runesmiths event, um, which is on at right now on my server. Um, in this event, you've got three different items, which uh, you get special materials from the event to craft. Uh, Gauntless of the, uh, all three of these items give plus construction speed and that is awesome uh, because you don't necessarily need to wear it all the time you can just equip it just before you start building a building um, and so that makes all of these items worthwhile getting uh, Gauntless of Dam Damnation here also have infantry healing speed which again you only need to equip just before you start healing things so it's a nice sort of side grade just to get at some point but you don't really get it because the other items in are just better and you have very limited amounts of materials. Grim Hammer of Maiming. Uh, this item here is absolutely awesome because there are very few weapons that are very uh, that are good that you can craft. Um, at least until sort of keep 30 anyway. But here the, the main great thing about it is in addition to the construction being twice that of the other items in the set you also get an undivided armor bonus. This is only 4% at core, but it's up to 35% at legendary, and that is insane uh, to get plus 35% armor. Um, even at just rare, it's 15%, and again, that is just absolutely insane. Um, it is uh, because it's mainly because it's undivided, and most of your tanks will be undivided. And so you get, you're giving the right buff to the right, um, to the right troops. Um, yeah. Uh, other items that you can get, and this is the main one that you want to craft, is the Brass Greaves of Slaughter, mainly because it gives you plus one stamina regen per minute, and that is insanely good. It is the only place in the in the game, uh, aside from your talent spec, that you can get plus stamina regen at present. Um, so stamina regen, in addition to helping you kill foes, uh, which then give you materials to uh, craft more items and give you experience. You also get uh, 10 experience for every uh, one stamina that you spend and that, sta that, that experience is then modified by your Chaos War Shrine. So that might be, it might actually work out to be sort of 15 to 20 experience per, um, per point of stamina spent, which is, experience is a very, very, very useful commodity obviously um, so anyway so that uh, the, so craft the boots and try to upgrade them as much as you can um, as it's just an insane bonus now in order to craft them for the first three levels uh, in particular so for core uncommon and rare the most difficult item to get is shattered runes now uh, shattered runes are yeah they're difficult to get but the best way to get them as an individual is to hit rank six dwarves because you can get up to up to I think maybe six uh, per hit as a maximum so if you hit this uh, it can be anywhere from two to six I think but if you if you hit a rank six dwarf dwarf five times even if you don't actually kill it you might still get 25 or 30 shattered runes just from hitting it. Uh, obviously though you want to kill it because then you get the chest and as well your alliance will get spoiled. And when it comes down to it, in these events, these, these foe killing events, right? you'll see here that this is actually an alliance challenge. Right? And a lot of people are perplexed by that because you know, they sort of think, well why, why should it be an alliance challenge when all of the army ones are individuals? It's because of spoils, right? Because of spoils, you can actually work together as an alliance, like, and rather than sort of working as an individual. Like, if I wanted to work as an individual to get the most points, then I would just go and hit, like, level 7 or 8s or something, or 9s. Um, but to work together to help everybody, if we can hit lower level foes, Right, then we can get uh, we can get more spoils because we get one per kill. So if the more kills that we get, the more spoils we get, 
and the small runesmith ruination spoils actually have one of the better chances of getting shattered runes so you're potentially giving your entire alliance 50 or in the case of you know you get double spoils 100 chances of of getting a um a shattered rune um, now the great thing about these small ruination spoils is that you can get them from level five four or three runesmiths now level four runesmiths are around helmgart level five runesmiths are around marienburg and level three runesmiths are in norska so now the, the great thing about these level three Nor um, runesmiths is that in addition to having uh to being level three which means that it only costs 300 stamina per hit um, to attack them whereas a level six uh, level six would require 450 so that's 50 percent more stamina just to make a single hit against the level six in addition to that they only have 200k life um, i'm struggling to find one here of <laughs> I, I went to my to my encampment up here and um i've been killing a lot of them <laughs> so <laughs> they're difficult to find um i only find these ones that are on low health here we go so they've got 200k life um which yeah me means that they're very very easy to kill um for me i can actually kill them in one hit um, because 200k life if you adjust your spec so i'm going to go attack this one and kill it if you adjust your spec a little bit um and this won't work for everybody but it if you have got a high level of gear in particular if you have the legendary um, gauntlets um, from the dwarven event um, but you can potentially adjust your spec a little bit uh, so that you can actually kill these in one hit um, so yeah otherwise if you can kill them in two hits then that's great too that's for 600 600 uh, experience 600 stamina you can get a kill and share spoils with your alliance comparatively killing a level six might take you um, 2,000 or 3,000 stamina in order to kill them because they've got one they've got five times as much as much life and it takes 50 percent more stamina per hit um, but yeah so th th this is a very very efficient way for the entire alliance to get more shattered runes um, you've got to get everybody in the alliance to buy into it though everybody needs to be smashing these uh these level threes um or fours um but level threes um are the best ones to smash uh only caveat to that though is that you do need a bit of time to smash them because you're not using up a lot of stamina so you got to like click buttons more often <laughs> you've got to uh yeah you've got to you've got to act you've got to actively kill them more often uh, and as well of course you've got to find them you know if you have you know, if you if if three different alliances send 50 players each up into norska uh, then they're going to become very difficult to find um, but yeah if you want to help your alliance to really smash out spoils and to for everybody to get the maximum upgrades uh, then come into the into norska and smash these out um, the other the other caveat to this is that they don't give epic or legendary drops from the spoils so at some point you will need to go and kill um, some sort of higher level uh, foes to get the purple and orange materials for the higher level upgrades anyway um, i hope this is of help and if you've got any comments then please leave them in the comments um, yeah cheers thank you